hope you are all good. I hope that you had a lovely restful weekend. Welcome to maths, um, Monday's maths lesson today. Um, last week we looked, we talked a little bit about um, being efficient. Do you remember what choosing an efficient strategy, what that word efficient, what it means? If you pause the video now and just cast your mind back to last week and see if you can remember what I mean when I say let's work efficiently. Okay, when we say work efficiently or choose the most efficient method, efficient means the quickest and the easiest way rather than spending ooh, 10 minutes working out a sum. If there is a different way that you could do it in maybe five minutes, that is the most efficient method. Okay. So today and tomorrow, we're going to be thinking about efficient strategies for working out some sums, okay? Don't worry if you find this quite tricky, if you think, Miss Palmer, I have no idea what you're talking about, okay? Just bear with me, have a go, um, and let's start thinking about how we can do these sums in a quick and easy way. So I've written a sum on the board here, 243, plus 16, take away three. Now, how are we going to do this? We could, like we talked about on Friday, we could use partitioning. We could add together our hundreds, tens, and ones, um, and then take away this three at the end. So let's try that. So two hundreds, no more hundreds to add. Four tens, let's, we're just doing this part here. So, four tens add one ten, so we've still got two hundred. Four tens add one ten is five tens. And then three ones add six ones is nine ones. So this part of the question is 259, and we still have to remember to take away the three. Nine ones take away three ones is six ones. So we still have two hundreds, five tens, nine take away three is six. So our answer is 256. Now that's okay. That's one way of doing it. We've got the right answer. However, what if I told you there was a more efficient way of doing that? So instead of adding the 16 first, why don't we take the three off first? Let's see if that makes things any easier. So we could rewrite this sum as 243, take away three, add 16. So if we do this part first, let's do this part first, those of you who are quick will have spotted, ah, this is really easy, Miss Palmer. Three ones, take away three ones, easy, 240. Then we're going to add the 16. Oh, that's much, much easier, 240. So we've still got two hundreds. Four tens, add one ten is five tens. And then zero ones add six ones is six. We've still got the right answer, but we've just changed the way round. We've changed the way that we do each part of the question. So what do you think was easier? Do you think it was easier to do plus 16, take away three, or take away three and then add 16? What do you think? Hmm, interesting to see which is the more efficient way. I think this way was far more efficient. I found it much easier to take away the three straight away and then add the 16. Okay, let's try another one.
Okay, so I'm gonna give you a choice. We've got 455, add 13, take away five. You can do that as it is. Or you can do 455, take away the five, add 13. The important thing to remember here is, I'm always keeping, because I have take away and addition in the same question, I'm always keeping the largest number at the front here. So it's up to you. Which way would you like to do this? Would you like to do 455, add 13, take away five? Or would you like to do it 455, take away five, add 13? Pause the video now and have a go. I don't mind which way you do it, but try and think which way is it going to be the most efficient? Which way am I gonna find easier and quickest? Pause the video now and have a go. Okay, you all done? Right, let's have a go then. I hope that you've all chosen to do it this way. I hope that you spotted straight away, ah, Miss Palmer, five ones, take away five ones, that's gonna be really easy for me to start with. So, 455, let's not write it out again. 455 take away the five is 450, well done. Now we need to remember to add on this 13, something that we're all very good at. 450 add 13, so we're doing five tens, add one ten is six tens. Zero ones add three ones is so I would hope that you chose to do it this way. Okay? Well done you. If that's what you got, you got the right answer, well done. Let's try one more. Seven hundred and twenty-four plus thirty-two take away twenty-four. Now, ask yourselves, is this the best way to do this question? Or would it be worth swapping these two calculations around and doing it in a slightly different way? What do you think? Let's see, let's rewrite it. If you grab your pencil and a pen, can you rewrite this question to do it in a different order and then we'll be able to see which way will be most efficient. Pause the video and do that now. Okay, so you should have written it in a different way. Remember, we're keeping this large number at the front because we have to add and subtract, okay? So 724, if we're writing this in a different way, we're going to put the take away the 24 first. Then we need to remember to still add the 32. Okay. Now we can look at both sums, both number sentences and think, hmm, which is the most efficient way? What do you think? Is it my, my one in black or is it my one in red? What do you think? The quick thinkers amongst you, I'm sure that's all of you, will have spotted straight away 24 take away 24. Oh, that's really easy. I can do that. 724 take away 24 leaves us with 700. Well done if you got that. Then coming back to the add 32, the answer would be 732. See how quick that was. We could do this one. We could do this one, but I think it'll take a little bit more brain power. Let's see. 24, 724, add 32. So I need to do 
my two tens and my three tens would be five tens. Four ones and two ones would be six ones. Now I need to take away the 24. Okay, there's another step to do. So I've still got my 700s. Five tens take away two tens is three tens. Six ones take away four ones is two ones. Can you see? I was able to do it. However, it took many more steps, well, one more step in my head where my brain really had to work and think, and I might have made a mistake there. That's why if you can spot which way is the most efficient way of doing it, you're on to success. So I'm gonna write one more up here for you to try. Let's see. What I'd like you to do, 616 plus 43, take away 16. I want you to pause the video and have a go. You may decide, ah, I can do this straight away. But what I want you to think about is, is there a more efficient way to rewrite this question and then do that'll make it easier for yourself? There might not be, okay? But have a go, have a think. Okay, pause the video now and have a go. Okay, all done? Good. Right. Lots of you would have looked at that and thought, yep, yeah, I can do that. However, let's see if rewriting this is going to make it easier. So, keeping the largest number at the beginning, 616, if I take away first, and then I add my 43. You should have spotted. Ah, yes, Miss Palmer, rewriting it is a much easier and quicker way of doing it. 616 take away 16 is 600. Add the 43, 643. Well done you, if that's what you've got. If you're still not quite sure what I mean by efficient and rewriting the sums, then what you can do now is go back to the beginning of the video and just watch this again and have a go on your pen and paper with all the examples, okay? Your task today, um, you, the first question, you need to choose Which way is best? So it will give you a sum like this and it will rewrite it for you and it'll give you like this. And you need to choose which is the best and most efficient strategy. Is it this one or is it this one? Okay, you need to decide. There's a couple of those for part one. And then for part two, you need to, it gives you a calculation. So let's pretend it gives you this one. And it will say, do you want to keep this one the same or do you want to change it? And you need to put it in a table that looks like this. Keep the same. Change it. Okay, so if you were given this one, where would you put it? Would you keep it the same or would you change it to a more efficient way of doing it? you would change it like we just did, okay? So you'd write this one in this box here. It's quite a short and sweet maths challenge today, so I want everybody to have a go at um, part one and part two. Um, I'm not worried today about the answer, okay? I just want you to think about the best ways of doing these sums, okay? So everybody's gonna have a go at part one and part two, and do indicate your name on the traffic light system at the bottom. Don't forget that. Some of you forgot that yesterday. And I really like to know how you found the, the day's maths task. Okay. Well done all of you on your hard work so far. It has been fantastic to see all your work come flooding in. And I've really enjoyed 
having a look to see what you've been up to. It's my goal this week to give out many, many house points, okay? So keep up the hard work, guys, and I will see you for more maths tomorrow.